Welcome back to part 15 of Folk Trees Could Talk. I thank you that you're visiting my site and reading along or tuning in each week to my YouTube videos where I am personally reading my book. People ask me, why are you sharing your book free of charge? My answer is because I really want the story to be heard. I want people to know that there is, in reality, such a thing as unconditional love. I hope, like my characters in If Oak Trees Could Talk, that once you hear the story, that it will cause you to passionately pursue this kind of love for yourself and for those you love. Disclaimer. I feel that this book is truly an inspirational love story. However, in some of the following content, I wanted to state for that for some young readers or listeners, the content may not be appropriate or may be rated PG. This week we will finish up Chapter 8, Love Has No Age, and continue to read about half of Chapter 9, Pursuit of Love. Chapter 8, Love Has No Age. Nurse Wanda, may I see you out in the hall for just a second? Helen asked very quietly and discreetly. Nurse Wanda followed Helen out into the hallway as she caught the subtle way that Helen had gotten her attention. As you may or may not know, the doctors are talking about possibly releasing me soon. I am asking that no nurses or doctors dare say anything to Henry until I get a chance to speak to him and prepare him. He's making such progress. I just do not want him to revert back to the state that he was in when he first arrived at Glenview. I hope you and the others will understand my concerns. Yes, of course, Miss Helen. I will not utter a word. I will ask the other nurses that see your husband to not say anything either. Thank you, Nurse Wanda. You've been such a blessing to us. You're one of the nurses that have helped to make this place bearable. If we can ever do anything for you, please do not hesitate to let us know what we can do. Helen stated as she hugged Nurse Wanda tightly. Just get that man of yours well, Miss Helen. The nurses have always believed that if you and Mr. Henry could have stayed together, that he probably would have been ready to go home with you. I sure will. Again, thank you. I had better get myself to my room. Chapter 9, Pursuit of Love When Helen made it back to her room, Amelia was just arriving as well. They both entered the room as Helen became very excited about Henry's progress. Amelia, my sweet baby girl, your daddy is coming back to us. We have to just keep the doctors and nurses quiet so that they do not tell him anything about my progress and upset him again. But Mama, are you not going to tell Daddy that you are on your way home? What if they discharge you? What if someone slips up and mentions it to him? I will tell him when I feel he is able to handle it. Right now, he is doing so well. I just do not want to hinder him in any way. I am taking him home with me, Amelia. I will not leave him in this place. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. I understand. I knew that you weren't going to leave him. So, Mama, tell me, what do you need for me to do for you? Just continue to bring your daddy pictures. Bring our wedding pictures to let him see them. Also bring all of the pictures that have that old oak tree in it. Gather as many as you can to jar as many memories as possible. The journals and the posters you brought him seem to be working better than any treatment Glenview has offered. This is what will bring your daddy back to us. I am sure of it. I'll do it, Mama. I will go by the house when I leave here today. Boy, you just look so much different yourself, Mama. You have such a warm glow about you. What has happened to you? Well, I don't know if you can handle the truth or not, my dear, Helen stated rather bluntly. Mama, I am not a little child anymore. Of course I can handle the truth. What is up? Well, if you're sure you want to know, I will tell you. Your daddy and I made love all night long last night. We felt like the life that had been stolen from us was restored by our passion for each other last night. Nurse Wanda actually had to wake us up this morning. We were sleeping so soundly. Helen said with absolutely no shame or guilt, she let out a chuckle that soon turned into laughter as she seen the look on Amelia's face. Once again, I am truly grateful that you chose to spend this time with me. Although I'm not a professional at doing the videos, I love bringing this story if Oak Trees could talk to you each week. I would love to hear from you if you are enjoying it. P.S. If you truly love passion and romance, I would not miss out on next week's videos as Amelia takes her mother's advice and passionately pursues love. 
If you would like more information on how to purchase your copy of If Folk Truth Could Talk or any of my other books, please go to my author page on Amazon. Never miss a week of hearing If Folk Truth Could Talk. Go to my blog page as every week is listed in the archives. 